if you're out by Grey Ditch, hey there. Glad you may want to pop in and see what's going on. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you all the way out here. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. Just listen to this. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men. Wait a minute. When you searched the West place, did you find their son Ian's body? This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs river. Until Look, time, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. The truth, no matter how bad it hurts. Now, some music. Next. Hey, everybody, did the news get around about a guy named Packin? He's just packin' and whackin', packin'. He's just packin', whackin', choppin', packin'. He's packin' and whackin', packin'. He's packin' and whackin', packin'. Hey, no. Slow down there. This area is... All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. Just... We'll take a little... I say I care forever, and I mean forever, if I have to hold a crazy me, sure I'm crazy, crazy in Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Agitate, shall we? Far, of course, the raiders. Those 
What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the We I led my men of science. I am afraid that the knowledge required to appreciate our true nature is f to claim this country's most important military installation, the Pentagon. As there are no before America. Ah your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to turn in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our pr What would that make us in your eyes? Then that is a mystery you will have to solve on your own. In ceremony, perhaps from the... Think of you and I'll be there. I hate to have Vance angry when he's inducting of the Capital Wasteland. It is I, Three Dow, your ruler. Hear me and obey. Oh, sorry, that's that other radio station. Got lots of stuff going down in post apocalyptia these days. Here's some of the latest news. Here's a question for. This is Three Dog, Ow! and you're listening to Galaxy News Radio. We're Radio Free Wasteland, and we're here for you. And now, some music. I don't... How do you get in? Huh? What do you want? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sure Evan King is pretty pissed right about now. I bet he has the entire town out looking for me. He's worse than my parents. Home? I don't have a home anymore. I made sure of that, didn't I? Parents! It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. You must think I'm some sort of monster. There's something inside me, something completely messed up. I'm a mutant, a fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy, and she's gone. No one gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? No, I'm sorry. I'll never set foot in that place again. She... she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just gonna gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. I just want to start a great big flame down in your heart. You see? Way down inside of me. It appears we have a lot to speak about. Darling, I, I hear that you decided to speak to Ian regardless of my warnings. Be that as it may, I am still interested in what you conversed about. Did he come to a dis- It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please, I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together educational. Just want to start a flame in your heart. Be a wonderful guy. I'm as trident as gay as a daisy in May, a cliché coming true. There he is, the hero of the day. 
I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself well the wastes. Hey everybody, this is Three Dog, your friendly neighborhood disc jockey. What's a disc? Hell of I know.